going to be starting off today with a greeny weenie, probably in the size 18 to 20 maybe. Um, I will be fishing uh, chest trick today using a 7 foot 6 3 weight. I haven't fished this section of the creek in a long time. Um, I'm not sure if there's a hole here anymore. There used to be one. But we're just going to be nymphing this greeny weenie. This little natural eddy on the other side of this creek for me. Let's see if I can't get something out of there. So I stick in it with this rod, let that float through. Switch over to a Montfly. This seems to do good in this creek. This wind isn't helping. It's blowing my line is down. Alright, so now we got a green wind, or uh, I'm sorry, a mop fly on. Probably in about the size 18, light green color, black bead head. And I'm going to fish it, I think, in this pool right here. Kind of stand off from the edge a little bit here. Just if the wind cooperates, it'd be nice. again just high sticking watching my leader and my fly line where it connects just getting out there letting it float through I have had successful catches with this fly leg or a fly type before so So we got this big pool here. Just gonna do some casts, get it out there, let it float through.
it's kind of a seam right here where it slows and there's the current. That's where I'm trying to keep it right on the edge there. Head down a little bit. To a uh, spot, a hole. See if I can't pull anything out of there. Um, they just stalked this creek, I think, a couple days ago. So I know there's creek. They're just fishing here. This creek does get hard, hit hard pretty good though. But hopefully there's something still left over. I've caught a couple nice browns out of here, a couple rainbows. Um, a while back when I was younger I probably uh, I pulled out a trout brown trout about probably 24 inches out of this hole we just started fishing on um, there's definitely some big ones in here um, there is a keystone select section of this creek I have fished it before fly fishing but I'm not fishing it yet it's still uh, cold it's supposed to warm up today I don't know if I'm going to fish it or not today um, there is a hole right here. This little uh, kitty pool, if you want to call it that. Maybe I can pull something out of here. As far as I know, there's always a trout in here. I'm going to get my way down there. Once again, so using the mop fly. I have it in this green color and then a dark cream color, which is almost like a brown, a brown color. So put that in there. Get it towards them falls. Let it sink. Pull out some excess line just to give me some more here. Watching that fly line. It's getting out there. And it's to the bottom. Trying to keep a straight line and a tight line. Get it out the falls. Keeping it tight, watching right where that my leader and my fly line connect, using that as an indicator. I know there's fish in here, I just gotta find them. Mop fly is usually an all around fly for uh, what I call dummy fish, fish that come out of that, that hatchery. They're just fed garbage and they're used to something easy. They haven't seen uh, a natural fly nymph. Just 
working this hole. Working this edge here. But I don't think I'm going to get anything out of here. It just, it did just snow <laughs> yesterday and it's in May. So welcome to Pennsylvania where it just rains and snows 24 7. Oh, there's one. Keeping a tight line on. That's a nice little one. Letting him fight wear himself out. It's like a nice brown. Just stripping it in real nice and easy. On the rod. I don't use a net either, so definitely just want to wear him out. Let him come up, work him right on over. Just to work him in the shallows. I can just scoop him up. Always wet your hand before touching this fish. The trick I learned with these fish is to hold them upside down and they'll stay uh, more still. Now get that, that fly out. There it is. Hold him up still. Give him a nice shot for you guys. There you go. Nice little brownie. It's probably a solid 12, 13 inch fish. So, put him back in the water. Let him go. So, there you have it. There is fish in this water. Um, I'm probably not gonna, well, I'll throw a couple more casts in. Um, just to see if there's anything else in here. I might catch him again, but <laughs> um, as the first trout of the year for me, and I actually got it on camera, so. All right, I'm in the new spot. This is the start of the artificial section. So. There are some big fish I've seen in here. Whether or not they're here still or not, I don't know. But I'm gonna try catching on the old mop fly again. See if I can't get it done. Just the drag or whatever here. Charge the GoPro so I just want to film here. Come on the mop fly again. But I'm gonna put the camera down and uh, try and get a picture of them for you guys. Come back. Got another one on. It's another brown. Yep, one brown. Maybe it may not be the same one I just caught. But I'm gonna put it down. Get another picture for you guys. Well, that is gonna wrap up today's video today, guys. Uh, the GoPro died whenever I caught those two other fish, so go figure. Um, it's a good thing that I took pictures of them so I can show you guys. Uh, they were on the mop fly today. They were a little tough to find, but I found some of them. Um, just a little windy. 
and water temps were down a little bit, but that's it's okay. But uh, next weekend I'll be at Pine Creek fishing, so I'm definitely gonna be getting a videos of that. I'm probably gonna make that like a series, do day one, day two, and day three of the trip. So that's gonna be super exciting. Uh, definitely, I'm gonna try and hit some of the trophy sections with my fly rod. Uh, my girlfriend will be with me. She'll be using my other fly rod and her spinning rod. So hopefully we can get some footage of some great fish. Uh, that is definitely one of my favorite creeks to go fishing at. And then after that, I'll be going to Penn's Creek to fish, but I don't think I'm gonna be uh, recording that. I'm just gonna try and focus on in uh, catching fish there. So, uh, but to wrap everything up, make sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment down below of anything you want to know the gear uh where i get my flies made uh waders boots all at my sling um fly line anything like that i'll be more than happy to answer but like always stay tuned for another new video